I live with my husband, and my boyfriend, and my boyfriend's wife. And together we have four happy children. Alicia and I originally started swinging. It was just an exciting thing to try. Through that, we were lucky enough to meet our other partners, Sean and Taya. We're polyamorous now. We're, we're in a closed quad. Tyler and I already had two previous children. I found out that I was pregnant with Barrett before Barrett was born. Taya found out she was pregnant. At first, I was a little bit hesitant um, to not know who the fathers of Barrett or Carver were. Have you ever personally wondered about it? Welcome to our big polyamorous family. I live with my husband and my boyfriend and my boyfriend's wife, and together we have four happy children. We're just a normal family like anybody else, except that there's more of us. We're lucky enough to find a house with two masters. There's one master on each side of the house, and then a baby's room across from each master, and then the two big kid rooms are actually downstairs. This is mine and my husband Sean's room. He keeps the majority of his stuff in here, um, but he and Tyler actually rotate rooms every other night. Yeah, it was a little weird at first, uh, just not sleeping in my own bed, like, but now it's like, it's like I get to have a sleepover every night. <laughs> Part of our nighttime routine is, will you switch pillows? No. Ah. <laughs> you gotta go every night, <laughs> every night. Alicia and I originally started swinging. It was just an exciting thing to try. And through that, we were lucky enough to meet our other partners, Sean and Taya. We don't consider ourselves swingers anymore. Uh, that's how we met, but we're polyamorous now. We're in a, we're, in a, we're in a closed quad. We don't date other people anymore. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. None of us were polyamorous before we found each other. I think actually it was Taya that sent the first thing saying, this is us, this is polyamorous. And we're like, yeah. That's right, that's who we are. When we started talking, we met like that very next week and we just <clears throat> wanted to see more and more of each other. We were making plans for the following weekend before we had even left and then again that next weekend and I always like to say that once we started talking, we just never stopped, <laughs> so. Kay and I were living in Portland at the time, so we were driving an hour and a half down here to see them almost every weekend. Alicia and I were looking at buying a, a house in the country where we'd have some room for the horses and it just made sense to find a house that would work for all of us. Tyler and I already had two previous children. I always wanted the third, but it was very difficult to make that decision when there was just two of us. What happens when you have a mad cow and a mad sheep? What, what happens with them? I don't know. A in, huh? A me? No, they're in a bad mood. <laughs> I found out that I was pregnant with Barrett and we were all pretty excited. Show us your crazy. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Barrett, look, that part is crazy. Whoa. Hey. About a month before Barrett was born, uh, Taya found out she was pregnant. So we weren't we weren't regulating who got in, who pregnant. We were just trying in general. I think that we uh, immediately agreed that we didn't want to know who the dad was. It wasn't important to us. We're raising them as all of ours anyway, so it doesn't matter who the father is. Good thing we do all our shopping at Costco. <laughs> There's more parents and uh, it's more fun because I, I have more people to play with. Okay, good. Okay. At first I was a little bit hesitant um, to not know who the fathers of Barrett or Carver were um, just because I was worried that Dylan and Raina were going to ask questions and I, I didn't want to hide anything from them. But after talking it through with the other adults in our family and, and realizing we can have that conversation when it comes up. You're gonna try and pull yourself up as much as you can, okay? Pull! Have you ever personally wondered about it? Sure, I've wondered about it, but I see Sean as a wonderful daddy to the babies and I see Tyler as a wonderful dad to them and that's all that really matters. Pull, pull, pull. We, we've kind of had a mixed bag of experiences with that. We had some people in our lives who right away were like, that's great. We had some people who were cautious at first or hesitant or had some reservations. And a lot of people make it about them, about how, how does 
how does it affect us? It doesn't affect you. At the end of the day, it doesn't affect you. We're just telling you because you're part of our lives and everyone has their choices to either be part of it or not. A lot of people's initial questions or comments or reactions are, oh, I can never do that, I'm too jealous. And we say, it's okay, we're not asking you to do it. We're not trying to convince anybody else to live this lifestyle. We're just letting you know that this is what our choice is. The more that you talk to them and educate them, um, the more accepting they can be. When we're out in public, people don't really think twice about us because we present as just two cis, hetero, monogamous couples who, you know, look like any other couples that are hanging out together unless they're really paying attention and see, oh, well, he was holding Taya's hand and then he gave Alicia a kiss. Sometimes people will do a double take. People who share their concerns about the kids you know, when we're educating them, it's polyamory is not about sex, it's about relationship dynamics and loving more than one person. We're definitely not teaching them polyamory, we're teaching them that they can love whoever they want and however many people they want, and, you know, in a consensual way. I think that having four parents does make us all better parents because you get the other side of what you're not normally accustomed to. I do have older kids and I parented it a certain way and they had Dylan and Randy before we got there and they parented a certain way so you get to see both sides of how people parent and so it makes you a more, I, I feel it makes you a more rounded parent for sure. We didn't start this because we were missing something. We realized that we could add something to our lives. There's no way we could have made it to where we're at now without a lot of honest, open, and sometimes really hard communication, you know, talking about what we wanted, the fact that we wanted this to be a romantic relationship, how we balance these things and make sure that our existing partners feel the love that we still have for them. As long as we're happy, yeah. we're gonna stay I, together. Hi. 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 <laughs>